that could be like what's five million dollars or something. Yeah, exactly. And then and then uh, it'll never get that back to that valuation. Here, this would be like six million. And good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. I'm here at uh, Carl's Moonbase. Carl, thanks for having me. No worries, bro. Thank you for coming again, uh, as always, every week. We're going to be doing a little bit of TA here uh, on Bitcoin, and we're going to show you how to trade. Is What is this called, man? <laughs> okay, okay. This two-week thing. Yeah, this is the EMA ribbon, and um, it's actually a indicator that I myself popularized mm -hmm. on YouTube like three, four years ago. I can see many people are using it now um, because it is an interesting um, indicator showing support and resistance in an exponential fashion. So it's the exponential EMA ribbon. Even I use it. Yes. Even you use it. Yeah, that's nice. It's nice. So essentially, uh, long story short, to make it very, very like short and concise, what you can see here is that whenever Bitcoin breaks above this ribbon, we usually see a, a big um, a shift in the trend. And this is the two-week chart. So it's the two-weekly EMA ribbon, and it's the Bitcoin price ever since from 2010 up until today so yeah that, that's basically what we're looking at but essentially we have these different cycles and uh, you can see here that this cycle we we dropped 87 mm percent -hmm. and then in the bear market we were below the ribbon and then right here bitcoin broke back above the ribbon and saw a fantastic run up you know from 200 bucks up to 20,000. Mm -hmm. And then we saw something very similar here, another 80% um, drop. And then when we broke above the ribbon here, it essentially led to a massive run up. The only um, outlier is this um, massive uh, March uh, dump for the Corona kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you guys how to trade this because you can see that we have uh, crossed above the EMA ribbons right there. And now it's just because it needs to flip, of course. And so for it to flip, it has to go, the prices have to be a little bit higher or stay above. Stay above, yeah. So right now we've seen very, the same thing, you know, we have this 80% uh, drop approximately, and now we're breaking above it. So exactly what we saw twice before, and also this is happening before the halving. The, the, uh, the halvings were approximately here, and the next halving is coming up in the uh, next year. So we're, we're essentially right now, in my opinion, gearing up for the next bull cycle. Yeah, so I so you want to be able to trade this and trade this at bybit.davincij15.com. Our links are in the description below and in the pin comment. And so what you could do, right, is, you know, start uh, buying in because I don't think it's going to pass below 220k. 20k is the is basically one of the floors that the, the, that the Bitcoin uh, will not break. You could start with a small limited amount of money don't go crazy don't go all in i'm going all in on this bet just that that's how you lose money mm -hmm. is that you start with a 5x um, uh long or a 3x long and you just if if it goes lower you buy some more mm -hmm. it goes a little bit lower you buy a little bit more at the yeah. same x rate and then you start selling as it comes above approximately about forty thousand dollars you start pulling out the profits um, as it goes uh, above the 40k mark, because we're going to see, I think we're going to see a 40 to 50k sometime this year or next um, uh, in, in this this Bitcoin bull market. We will probably um, do an all-time high before the, the happening. That will happen after the happening. So this way you can actually, you know, trade this and, and you know, see how this works out. I really think we'll, that it will work out. You will be able to, you know, scale in. Mm -hmm. Starting now. Yeah. I think this is historically the best time to accumulate Bitcoin mm -hmm. because of what I just said. And I actually, on my channel, I've showed so many charts over the past few weeks. All of them are indicating the same thing. That right now is a fantastic time to accumulate. Yes, Bitcoin can go back to 25K. Yes, it could even retest 20K. But it doesn't change the fact that no. this time right now is the optimal time to buy if you look at the cycle. Just exactly. cycles. Exactly. Exactly. If you look at the cycles, this is an optimal time to buy. And you can see the Bitcoin, it normally goes um, uh, on a, a parabolic run shortly after it's um, happening. So so, this so you call it halvening. I'm usually calling it the hal halving. 
you are native English speakers and you tell me what's the correct one. I don't know. We have to look that up. Because everyone says different. Halvening or halving. Yeah, halvening. Yeah. I think the halvening, halvening sounds nice. Halving sounds good. Halving. The halvening. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think both are probably correct. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. So yeah, uh, you're right. Just if you want to play it safe, just dollar cost average mm-hmm. right, with your money and uh, you can go all in with that. I think you can go. Yeah. It's safe to go all in on Bitcoin. Don't you think? Well, I am basically going yeah. <laughs> safe here. As so, long as you don't do leverage, it's safe to do that all in on Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. Most of my net worth is it's all Bitcoin, but on spot, of course. Mm-hmm, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Take it easy out there. Exactly. So, so what I notice here, though, I just noticed this, and we should uh, actually overlay uh, another um, chart there. Mm-hmm. Is that this is, looks like an exponential curve that's flattening out. Did you notice that? Mm. It's like it goes up and then straightens out. So diminishing returns. Yes. Exactly. So, um, did you know that the Bitcoin is produced on the diminishing return? It's production on the production of Bitcoin. Yeah, the halvings. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So we have a diminishing curve. So like this, and, and eventually it will start going. Yeah. Flat. Exactly. Yeah. At some point. So yeah. we're gonna see the price of Bitcoin do exactly the same thing. Because it's not going to be, there's not going to be a lot of Bitcoin being produced. Yeah, maybe it's only going to go up here to like um, four or five hundred thousand dollars. No, that's it's probably go a lot higher because the dollar can't uh, exist forever, right? Yeah, but if we disregard inflation, yeah, exactly. of course, with inflation, it's going to probably look like this at some point exactly. because the dollar will collapse. But uh, um, compared to real world assets, like yeah. actual value. Actual value, that's what it should look like. Something like this, yeah. Mm-hmm. But there will be like a time where that's really off, where it's just um, the actual value will just do something like this. Take off and then come back into the line, in back in line. And this will be like, oh, scam, this is horrible. This is and then never come back here. Mm, yeah. It, that's what I think as well. Yeah, yeah. That will, we'll do that for sure. Yeah, that's true. So what, what, what that could be like, what's $5 million or something? Yeah, exactly. And then some something stupid and then it'll come back and then uh, it'll never get that back to that valuation. Here, yeah, this would be like $6 million and then it comes back down like mm-hmm. this. Exactly. And that, that would be the time when Bitcoin is overvalued and overvalued. you should sell everything. Exactly. But at that point, if you sell everything, you, you'll be like a multi-billionaire probably. Yeah, that's coming because because of the because of our current financial system is a fraud, and when it collapses, when a fraud collapses, it doesn't yeah. what happens. So wealth is there's going to be a massive wealth transfer um, to people who hold real assets, assets that have real value, uh, and then um, boom, you'll be able to to cash in on that. Uh, you're going to have to do it quickly and see it, and not say, "Oh my God, it's going to go up forever." No, don't do that. <laughs> right. You gotta get out. You gotta. You gotta. You, you don't want to own a digital asset just for the sake of owning a digital asset. So, for example, one person uh, asked me a question just today, um, and he said, "Richie, you told me that if there was only one Bitcoin, our whole financial system could exist on that one Bitcoin. But what if it was owned by one person, who, and he didn't want to sell? So you mean to tell that person just wants to hold a digital asset, then just say, oh yeah, that's mine, and he doesn't want to own things?" He doesn't want to buy a car. He doesn't want to buy a house. He exactly. Want to exactly. <laughs> yeah, of course. But that's what I always tell as well. And 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 this is also, by the way, how all different money in the world came to uh, to the public. It started out as a store of value. People hoarded it. Uh, same seashells, stones, and even cigarettes in prisons. They they hoard it because it's it's valuable to them. Um, and then when they have a bunch of it, at some point. You just want to start exchanging it for other things, of exactly. course. And that's when it becomes money. Yeah. When everyone, even sugar has been a store of value and then it become, uh, becomes a currency. Even uh, like so many things. Like it, we have had thousands and thousands of different forms of currency or money in the world. Yes. And the same will happen with Bitcoin. People are hoarding it now because you don't want to sell it. It's going to go up in value. We know that for sure. And then when every one of us have so much Bitcoin that that's all we have, then you want to you want to trade it for something real and tangible. Even just buying food or buying car, buying a beautiful villa, or like all of us are gonna have to do very soon, just starting buying private jets and yachts. Yeah, because the whole point of money is not the money in itself, but what it can buy. Exactly. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> and on that note, guys, 2,000 likes. I think this video deserves. Definitely, definitely. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the bell button, all the notifications because, you know, the algorithm, they won't let you know that this video has, my videos have been popping up. So make sure you hit the bell button and all, and you head over to Carl's channel. Definitely head over to Carl's channel. Thank and you. And you hit the subscribe and you hit the bell button. And your, your vlog, you need to tell yeah. me that. Okay, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is crazy. So my vlog channel, where you have been featured a few times already, it's called Carl Runefeld, which is my name. Um, right now, it's crazy. Every 60 minutes, I'm getting 20,000 views. Just insane. Every 60 minutes, 20,000 views. It's exploded. It's it's really crazy. So every day is like a thousand new subscribers coming in every single day. It's really crazy. Yeah. And uh, among my most popular videos, it's you and me. Yes, we we, we team up and we have a lot of fun just yeah. joking around. Basically. Yeah. Have you know what? Maybe <laughs> I think we could even put that uh, this the, when we went to the Manzori shop, we can put it as an end screen probably here. Shirt. Yeah. And then people can click it right there. That's yeah, a right there. funny video. Right now. Click it right now. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>